Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. And I'm tying another salmon fly for you. This time it's the Monroe Killer. Very, very good salmon fly. Um, it's a great low water pattern. <coughs> uh, but I mean, you can tie them bigger or smaller to suit. So I've got the hook and the vise, um, as usual there will be a materials list along with a link to Patreon and everything for anyone that wants to support the channel in the description below. This is a loop double, it's got to run on some black thread. And I'll just uh, trim away my waist end. Then I'm just going to get my my butt and my rib. I'll tie that in on the way down. It's just the oval gold tinsel. We run down until just kind of in between the point and the barb. Then I'll take. See if four turns down, come up between the hooks, catch that off, then I'll run up the length of the body, and I'll pull it back down, get that all tied in nice and secure. Now for the body, I'm using black floss. It's just uni floss. Nothing fancy. Just catch it in. Length of the my waist the length of the body. Just tidy that up. half hitch on and then I'll just straighten out my floss just run it through my fingers and then start to wind it forward open it up as I go just build a nice Flat body. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just, uh, I mean, this is a fishing fly. It's not a. It's not been in a box or a, a shadow box or anything. Then I'll take my rib. And take it up in even turns, but four even turns. Catch it underneath. So three turns will hold it. A bit of wax in my thread. And we're ready for the false hackles. I've got an orange Chinese. I'm going to take one of these great big feathers off the back. They're, I mean, they're too big for pretty much anything else I would use them for, so they're good for, they're fine for false hackles. Just bring the fibres 90 degrees to the stem so the tips line up, and then you can just line them up as you go, just pinch off enough. And I'll just roll them. Get them to kind of come together. If there's any kind of that are a wee bit too long, just take them away. Length up to you. I'm going to. I like it to be just coming lip to the barb of the hook. Just pinch and loop up the way. A couple of times. Tie that back. Just check, see how it's sitting. 
Don't like that. <clears throat> If you're not happy, go back and tie it in again. Check that there, there we go. That's better. Trim away the waste. Next is a bit of blue guinea fill. I like sort of darker fibre, you know, just a few kind of clear, well, well marked spots. Which is the same again, bring the, fi the fibres out perpendicular to the shaft of the feather, line the tips up, rip them away. I'll roll these as well. And then just pinch and loop a couple of turns. And you can just use your thumbnail, just spread that. Spread them both, get them sitting nice. Trim away your waist. And we're ready for the wing. Um, probably most of the time you see these tied, it's um, squirrel, bleach and dyed squirrel that people use. But I'm not a big fan of squirrel, really. I always think it seems a bit stiff. So I'm using fox, Arctic fox. You get another good hair would be Arctic runner, full of movement. Um, and even if you were tying the really small marabou, is also very, very nice and mobile. So wing length, this is yellow under wing, like two shank lengths. Just pinch and loop that on. See how we're sitting. Take a few wraps, two or three wraps. So the waist. Sure, we've got plenty of wax in your thread. Cover up the butts. And then the overwing. I mean, you could, if you want, you could add a bit of flash here. I'm, I'm not going to bother. Overwing is just, I'm just black. Same, same, uh, same hair. As I said, you can use whatever you like. I just like the... I like Arctic Fox. Any super long fibres, I'll just draw them back in and... kind of be line up. See how you're sitting. You can always adjust it. Just got to use my thumbnail just to spread that over. It was sitting a wee bit far towards me, but that seems to have balanced it a wee bit better. And come in, trim my waist, and I'll take my thread into the cut ends. Build up a nice wee head. You know, the head's part of the fly, so you don't want to just ignore it. Make sure you get a nice shape all the way around. And then you can come in. Oops. Quick finish. Just use your whip finish as well, you can allow it to sort of shape the head a wee bit. There you go, that's it, one row colour. Come away your thread, and you 
just give the head a wee touch of super glue. Don't touch your your wing or your hackles or nothing. That will seal that nice. And you can finish it with some clear varnish. So, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If it was, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and uh, subscribe to the channel. Take lines, guys. Bye.